Hey guys, this is Fadi from Harvey Productions. Welcome to another video. Today's video, I'm dedicating it to discussing the AFX in the Antelope Galaxy interface. The same principle, everything we're going to explain today, it would be uh, similar to uh, like the Orion Gen 3 because it has AFX or the Galaxy 32 or 64. They both have the same control panel ish, uh, pretty close. Uh, they're just different plugins, but the principle applies the same. We're applying it today on the Galaxy. I want to discuss how to route it, how to set it up, and uh, how to use it as well. Uh, so let's just gonna dig in right away. So this is control panel. If you haven't watched my control panel video for the Galaxy, uh, you should look it up on my YouTube channel. I explain in depth everything about this control panel. But in today's video, it's dedicated for the AFX. So the first thing you want to make sure that you're routing your audio proper for the AFX. And the way that the AFX works, um, it works like send and a return. So you got audio, you take that audio, send it to an AFX channel, you process it there with some plugins, and then it comes back. And then where it comes back, you plug it into your DAW to a specific channel that you want to record. And that gives you the flexibility of being able to also track the raw signal as well as the one coming from the AFX. And you can actually record both uh, and leave both in your session and then just choose which one you want to choose later or combine both for like parallel processing or something like that. Um, so let's go into routing. You guys can see here, um, here's on my channel. So I have, for example, in my line input uh, right here, 27. And 28, these two line inputs up there. This is my poly D. And then the way to make sure that it is in the right channels, I'll check my meters and I'm going to go check and I'm going to choose line inputs. 132. Mm -hmm. You can see here's my signal for my line inputs. I know that that's working. All right, and I'm going to go to routing and I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to put them into AFX input one and two. So I'm going to take these two and I'm going to go down here at the bottom into AFX input one and two. You can see it down there. And now it even grabbed the label with it. And then now I'm going to take the AFX output one and two and I'm going to take this and put them into my DAW, which will be, uh, let's say I want to record this in channel 27 and 28 in the same one. So I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to go into DAW input right here. And well, let's use two different channels so that way it's not being duplicated. Here you go. Put it right there, which is going to be channel is this 33, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. This is channel 41 and 42 in my DAW. So now when I open my DAW, I should have two signals. So let's kind of uh, test it out here. Just so I'm going to open up Pro Tools. I'm going to do a test session. And I'm going to open two stereo tracks. And in the first one, I'm going to grab the input coming from my poly D, which is 27 and 28. And then I'm going to grab the second two coming from 41 and 42. And I'm checking here, making sure that I'm getting the signal in my DAW. And then so I selected my DAW 33 to 64. And then you can see I can see the signals in the proper place. Now, if I open a Pro Tool session, and then I have in this Pro Tool sessions uh, where the channels should be. So the first one, here's my dry signal. And then the second one, I want to make sure I have it labeled right. Yeah, there you go. And here is my uh, process signal coming from the AFX. Now, now that we know that our routing is set up properly, I'm going to go to the AFX tab. And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to zoom in so we can see it a little bit better. So you guys can see here, here's AFX in. I'm in, this is kind of how you switch between channels. So we're in channel one and two, and then you can unlink them. So you treat one separate than two, but in this case, cause I'm using a stereo source. So I'm gonna just run, uh, I'm gonna link them, run them in stereo mode. And you can already see 
information that this is light input. It's coming from, so the light input, the first one, the left channel is coming from channel 27, PDL left, which is poly D left, 28 PDL right. They're coming from these channels, it tells me. And then here I can add all my effects, whichever I want. And then here is like my first effect, I got an EQ, I got a pull tech, and then I got a VCA compressor. Then you can bypass or unbypass. And then here's on and off. You can see how the effects are happening. Here's a can bypass all or not. You can also save this as a signal chain of something that you have done and worked on and then you like it. Or they, they have some um, presets, I believe. So right here, if you go to custom and you go to load and you can load specific chains that Antelope has made. And um, if you have the Galaxy, you get 32 AFX. So see, here's a kind of switch between the windows between 16 and 32. Also, this window can become like a floating window. So I can actually go to routing and then still keep that window going or just place it somewhere. Um, and this is basically a really quick, simple explanation of how to set up the AFX in your unit. It doesn't matter which DAW that you're using because that processing is happening in here. Now you get that AFX processed signal and then your I chose to record it in my DAW, but then you can also choose to put it in one of your mixers on the Galaxy unit and then send it to a headphone output for your singer or drummer or whatever. And then they get to hear a specific process signal that they want it. And then you as an engineer get to choose, do you want to record the raw one or do you want to record the process one or both? So uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and make sure to check the full video explaining the full control panel on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.